this deserves a nicer video with like overlays on the screen of me like showing like screenshots of the tweet and like pulling up the article and things like that. But I'm trying to practice what I preach and ship fast because as I just said in the last video, like your default in shipping fast and just going is a lot of times gonna produce way more results than trying to craft things super sharply and have content calendars. So um, this is also a whole lesson on why like being on Twitter yourself personally and you having conversations with people personally under your own brand, like again, as an individual, whether you're attached to a brand or attached, whatever your mission is, you as the person should be a part of the conversation because of this. So here's a conversation from like last summer of me just talking to someone about a new um, yogurt place that opened in uh, no, a side place. Sorry, <laughs> it was in a side place. A side bowl place open in Menifee, and I'm like chatting with people about it opening. Okay, and and LA Times reporter replies to the chain like six months, eight months later, and goes, "Hey, I'm writing a story about Menifee. Like, would love to chat if you're open to it. Please DM me." DM'd him, got on the phone with him. Ended up just being a story about California like migration patterns, and he wanted to ask, you know, where we moved from and why we moved to Menifee. And so talked to him on the phone and got in the article and now I'm in the LA Times. Okay, so why does this matter? This matters because I didn't pay a publicist. I didn't pay for anything. I talked to someone on the phone for five minutes and got indexed for Menifee, for Bitcoin, for PR consultant, for the neighborhood I live in. Like all of the things that Brian Harrington wants to be known for on the internet are now printed with an latimes.com like link on it, which then ranks up by SEO and all this stuff and all all the fancy stuff that all the other consultants and SEO and pay-per-click, all those people will tell you, all just happened for free because I'm just being myself on the internet and talking about a local restaurant that's opening where I live. So that is what happens. And there's another website called, again, this is where I could shoot a fancier video on this, pull up the website, show you how to do it. But there's a website called Helper Reporter Out where you, as just you don't have to pay a publicist. You can get the leads of the stories that reporters are working on all the time and then you pitch yourself. Because here's another reason why this creates efficiency for you or your company or again, whatever. Because so much of the time when you sign a new vendor and you're paying them monthly, the first one, two, three months is just ramping up the account manager on what it is you do. So you're not even getting anything done. You're just ramping them up on how you deliver the messaging. And the more complex your product, the harder it is to ramp up that person on it. Because here's the other thing that's the problem. The account managers at these companies are just kids. Like, sorry to say that, sorry to say that. I'm just in my like early 30s too. I'm just a kid. Like these people are sometimes even younger than I am. And you're like task, so then you're paying a big agency, a bunch of like money retainer, and then you're getting stuck with an account manager who then wants you, the CEO and the marketing team to explain to them your like ramped up, like hard to understand financial product or like whatever you're doing. It's, that's why it's like imperative that you as the person with all the knowledge in your head are just on the internet acting like a normal person because that's how you're gonna get stuff done. That's how you get stuff done. That's how I got in the LA Times. That's how you can get in the LA Times. And even if the reporter never comes, the, the still one-on-one -on -one conversation that you had with that other person, that is worth more than what, like that's worth it. Like that is the customer, that is the attention, that is what the end goal is of paying the high value retainer anyways. Like a lot of us have to focus more on like, <laughs> like, quality over like we're trying to scale like you're trying to scale all your attention by paying this outside vendor when you haven't even fine-tuned how you 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 are on the internet